my name is Raymonda Adams. I'm a certified lactation counselor and doula. And this video is on what can I, as a dad or partner, do to help mom. And this video is brought to you by the UB Maternal and Child Health Program. I'm now going to reduce the size of the screen with my face on it so that you can focus on the slides. How can the dad partner help? By providing support. Understand how breastfeeding works. You can attend prenatal classes and lactation consultant appointments when possible. Be there to listen to your partner's concerns, thoughts, and struggles. Encourage her to continue breastfeeding and remind her of the benefits. And remind her to eat a healthy diet and take care of herself. Some ways to support the breastfeeding process. What dads can do. Help around the house more. Reduce stress for your partner and make sure she gets enough rest. You can burp the baby after a feed. That's just great for this. And care for the baby in ways other than feed, such as baths, diaper changes, and walks. You can reduce your partner's stress and responsibility by taking care of daily tasks around the house. You can prepare healthy meals and snacks for your partner when she is breastfeeding. You can bring the baby to the mother when it's time to breastfeed and burp the baby after breastfeeding. You can clean the breast pump whenever necessary and help put together and clean the diaper bag. Stay at home partners. Many partners choose to stay home with the baby if the mother is trying to work after the baby's birth. In this case, the partner is caring for the baby throughout the day and must care for a breastfed baby without the breastfeeding mother present. So here are some bottle feeding basics, the do's and don'ts of bottle feeding a breastfed baby. Do use a slow flow milk. Breast milk consistency is thinner than artificial milks. Consistency never changes and neither should the bottle nipple. Don't bottoms up. The bottle should always be parallel to the floor, never tipped up. It should be propped up into the sitting position and never lying down. Don't force to finish. Food, feed smaller amounts and follow baby's lead. When baby pushes the bottle out, don't try and force it back in. Baby has small, frequent feeds. Do connect. Use feedings as an opportunity to bond and connect with your baby. Never leave baby unsupervised with the bottle. Do mix it up. Alternate sides that you feed baby on to mimic breastfeeding. And don't swaddle. Never swaddle baby during feeds. Baby's hands should be free so you can check for signs of stress and so baby can participate in the feeding. Practice paced bottle feeding. Feeding a breastfed baby should be as similar to breastfeeding as possible. Breastfed babies do not follow a strict feeding schedule. They eat whenever they are hungry. So learn to interpret the baby's signals. Breast milk is digested quickly so breastfed babies will need to be fed more frequently. And babies may take different amounts of milk during each feed, and that's okay. Often small amounts of each breast milk to avoid wasting the milk. And hold the baby close before and during feedings. That'll be your special bonding time. Handling breast milk. Human milk does not look like formula or cow's milk and can have different consistencies and colors. It can be bluish, greenish, yellowish, and even brownish. Breast milk will naturally separate into layers of milk and cream. You just have to simply heat and gently swirl the milk to mix. Breast milk pumped at different times can be stored together. It can be stored in a refrigerator or freezer and thawed when needed for feeding. Remember, never ever warm breast milk in a microwave. They do not heat them evenly. Uneven heating can scald your baby or damage the milk. To warm the milk, place the breast milk bottle or bag into a cup, jug, or bowl of lukewarm water for a few minutes to bring it to body temperature. That's 37 degrees Celsius or 99 degrees Fahrenheit. Alternately, you can use a bottle warmer. Here's a chart for some breast milk storage guidelines. 
This is meant for full-term, healthy, non-medically fragile children who are not sick. Now we'll watch a brief video on partner support. <laughs> Ma femme l'a fait et je suis fier d'elle. Quatre fois. We did it too. On l'a fait. J'étais là pour aider ma femme. Puis c'est pour ça qu'on le fait encore. Sometimes we were up all night. Other times it was early in the morning. We even told our friends and family it was okay to stay. Ma femme hésitait de le faire devant le monde. C'est là que je l'encourageais. Puis je lui disais là, que j'en vois juste un venir te dire de quoi là. Je vais sortir mon taekwondo là. Ok. Savez-vous de quoi on parle? Do you get it? We're talking about breastfeeding and what a different support makes. It's not just a one person job. C'est un travail d'équipe. C'est juste pas toi le capitaine. Moi je l'aide pas, mais il y a quand même quelque chose que je peux faire. Pour commencer, je peux être présent. I was in charge of the water. Comme moi, ma job, euh, c'était préparer les repas. Ah! Changing diapers. It's very challenging. It's so tiny. Et le rôle du partenaire, c'est de donner un congé à la maman qui, elle, nourrit l'enfant. You have to be in tune with your partner's needs, but you can't forget yourself in the process. C'est pas parce qu'elle est assise qu'elle travaille pas, là. Breastfeeding is not a one-person job. Ah, oh, c'est pas une vacance. Quand elle te dit qu'elle avait un foot massage, tu dis pas non. Tu sors la crème puis tu t'en te frotter. Sometimes it was the small things that mattered. But sometimes we have to deal with criticism. Are you sure the baby's eating enough? You should switch to formula so your baby can go big and strong. Yeah, right. I was breastfed. Ça vaut vraiment la peine. But remember, it's worth the effort. Soyez engagés. Assurez-vous qu'elle sache que vous êtes là pour la soutenir. Parce que à l'été, c'est une affaire de famille. I was there. J'étais là. I was there. Je fais partie de ce site, moi aussi. I was there. I was there for moral support. J'étais là. Working together does make breastfeeding better. I was there and it made a difference. Having support can make all the difference. Help from outside resources. If you need additional help, don't be afraid to contact the WIC office. You can visit a baby cafe or look for a lactation consultant or a hospital through the International Lactation Consultant Association. Remember, your support is so needed and so valuable, and it will definitely help mom on her breastfeeding journey. Thank you.